Hi right, guys. Well, here we are on this spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful day in the end times in hell. We have uh, we have discovered yet another ring of hell. It was a hidden ring of hell down below the ninth ring. We have entered the tenth ring of hell. This is called Marco Island, Florida here on this gorgeous, it is a Friday afternoon, February 12th, uh, 2022. This, I had to come down here, I, when I was a kid, thinking about eight years old, uh, my mother had an opportunity to buy oceanfront lots. These oceanfront lots, they were selling for $600. $600. My guess is one of these oceanfront lots today would sell two million. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just taking a wild guess. This is truly one of the most horrific. Uh, it, it, it is worse than I ever could have imagined. I have no idea where the fuck all this shit came from. I honestly don't think I've been here uh, since about 1966 when I'm assuming that Marco Island was a, a probably a little fishing village where I uh, we're perched right on the edge of Everglades National Park and the 10,000 Islands, what they call the 10,000 Islands. This is uh, w one of the 10,000, thank God, uh, the other 9,999 Islands. So, you know, we're like a mile from Everglades National Park, the next island over that doesn't have a bridge. This was the last piece of private property on the southwest coast of Florida. We're about 30 miles south of Fort Myers is where we are. This is where the road ends in southwest Florida. This is the southwest corner. You see what I mean? the, the very final point of the west coast of Florida is uh, is this godforsaken hellhole. Uh, I mean, obviously, you can never see the beach. Uh, there is, as far as I know, there is no public access, at least since we started, there is no public access. We were looking for a dog beach. We cannot even find a human beach. Uh, this is wall to wall in every one of these fucking places. Looks like it has 500 to 1,000 rooms in it. Okay, here is the, all right, here is the public beach. But of course, there's no dogs allowed. So the humans, all right, the humans get, what is this? This was probably six lots. Uh, in a row, so my I guess my mother could have bought that for thirty-six hundred dollars in nineteen sixty-six. Uh, I am fucking believable. I, I have no fucking clue where these people are coming from. Uh, piled onto this island. This uh, this island is hurricane bait, so we don't have to wait for sea level rise. I'm hoping that a Category 8 hurricane will blow through here next summer and flatten this place. I want this place obliterated off the face of the earth. Marco Island needs to go. It needs to go. This, uh, there, there is no room for this abortion on this planet. Uh, good fucking God. I guess we should have taken a left there to keep following the uh, following the road uh, un fucking believable uh, th th this shit this unrelenting hell 
uh, uh, every square fucking inch. There must be a half a million people on this fucking island. Uh, anyway, we cannot bring on the sea level rise to... So all of this is going underwater. Every fucking bit of this is going underwater as it needs to. The sooner that Marco Island is underwater, the better. But of course, uh, you know, this is just one of the 10,000 islands. And, you know, as goes Marco Island, so goes the Everglades. And the entire Everglades uh, is going under. And that's the tragedy. I mean, the comedy is that this fucking abortion is going underwater. Uh, and this, this will be this line of these uh, hotels and condos. This will just be, you know, it'll, it'll just be a big reef. Uh, but of course, everything will be extinct. I, I guess jellyfish and sea urchins is what will be living in these condos. But of course, you know, we're going to lose the Everglades. Oh, we're running into a gated community. Oh, well. There goes the gated community. The South Seas Club. That's what that is. The South Seas Club. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at it. Look at this shit. Look, look, I mean, look at this shit. This is, uh, this is everything that is wrong with this planet. Right here. Uh, uh, signs of the end times. Yeppers, yeppers, yeppers. You are looking at a sign for the end times. Uh, my fucking God. So, uh, Watch out for the sky. I don't know no, what this dude is doing. This, <laughs> this dude is just like, uh, I, oh, this could be an interesting video. Uh, you know, these guys have balls to do, to do something like this. You got a quality furniture and interior design. Uh, here's the Chips Ahoy truck coming in. All right, I have never seen a Chips Ahoy 18-wheeler uh, in my life. I think Guy McPherson had a Chips Ahoy 18-wheeler in his underground bunker at the, at the mud hut. Well, that, that dude did it with his fucking furniture truck. See if one of these motherfuckers lets me in. Good God Almighty. Grab your uh, Chips Ahoy truck while you still can. It is Girl Scout cookie time again. I've noticed uh, several times. It is Girl Scout cookie time. You know, we took a couple of years off of Girl Scout cookie time, but I noticed it is Girl Scout cookie time. Once again, I uh, cannot believe we're back. So grab all of the little palm oil bomb Girl Scout cookies while you still can because it will not be Girl Scout cookie time much longer in global industrial civilization. I have to go talk to a robot now. So uh, I will bid you guys farewell from the 10th ring of hell. My gosh.